This is Michael from Digital Sputnik. Today we're going to go over the different ways you can set up the Voyager network. But first, let's go a little bit more in depth in the Wi-Fi modes. In the last video, we went over the Voyager's buttons and status lights. If you have not viewed the previous video, please click the video's link in the description. The first and default Wi-Fi mode is Access Point Mode, or AP Mode for short where your Voyager will broadcast a basic 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi hotspot visible to every device under its serial number as its network SSID name. Default password to access the VTube is dSputnik. This mode is represented by a yellow status LED color. The second Wi-Fi mode is Client Mode. Client Mode does not broadcast Wi-Fi, but auto-searches for any VTube set in Router Mode or in the app you have designated a network for it to join. This mode has two color statuses, red for not yet connected, and green for connected to a network. Third and last is router mode, represented with a color blue. Router mode is very much the same as AP mode. However, at the end of its network SSID name, shows a underscored capital M to define it as a master network. This little change in network SSID name allows the VTubes and client mode to auto-join this network, also using the default password dSputnik. Maximum use for up to nine Voyagers and one controller device, only one Voyager should be in router mode. Now let's set up some Voyager networks. The easiest Voyager network to set up is the router and client network. Change only one VTube to router mode and the rest to client mode. You will know when the VTube set to clients are connected when the Wi-Fi status LED turns green. If you want to use a third-party router as a network hub for all your Voyagers, simply create a router client network to quickly and easily put your VTubes on the same network. Once they are all connected, in the Voyager controller app, press Add Lamps to list all connected VTubes and all Voyagers in the network space to select all by dragging. Now go to Setup. Lamp Settings. Select All, if not already selected. Wi-Fi Setup. And now you can choose between different wireless modes. Select Client. And now you can scan for any available network. Choose your network and enter in that network's password and your V2s will start to connect to your third-party router. With the third-party router, you are able to increase wireless range, choose between a 2.4 or 5 GHz Wi-Fi band, decrease latency, and increase the number of VTubes you can have on one network. Another way you can auto-set up your Voyager network with a third-party router is to change your SSID network name and password of your router to this here. The X is in the SSID name is a placeholder and can be any letter or number, but there must always be either nine numbers or letters and cannot be shortened. Once your SSID network name and password are set up, your VTubes in client mode will automatically connect to your router as if it were a VTube in router mode, but without the limitations. Now that you know what the Voyager Wi-Fi modes are and how to set up a Voyager network, it's time to get connected. In the next video, we'll go over the basic and intermediate features of the Voyager controller app. Until next time.